Hi everyone, my name is Tony Wale, and welcome to another exciting episode of uh, Fallout 4 Mod Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install Fallout 4 Script Extender F4SE for Fallout 4, along with its the MCM menu for Fallout 4, which is, a, which is under the user interface on, on the Nexus page. So, the MCM menu is a menu that allows for mods to be have better organization and more customization, and allows more control of the mod itself. If you've ever played Skyrim or Skyrim uh, Special Edition, the MCM menu is a must-have for most mods because it makes the mod easier to control. And in order to use an MCM menu, you want to have the, the Fallout 4 script extender, F4SE. And I'm going to show you how to download and install both. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the F4, uh, F4SE to, down to your, to your computer. This is a manual install. Unfortunately, you cannot install it directly to Mod Organizer 2. Okay, so, what we're, so we're gonna go ahead and right click, and you can save as anywhere you want. You can put it to your desktop. I usually like to put it to my download folder, so I'll just put it to my download folder and download it normally as I, as I usually would. Now once in my download folder, I will have the F4SE file here. I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna unzip the file with uh, 7-zip, WooThread, or any, uh, zip, any file um, tool that you use to unzip these types of files. Now, once done, I will have the uh, Fallout 4 um, director, uh, script, I'm sorry, F4SE direct directory file open. Go ahead and open it. Do not worry about this file or this one. We just want these files here. Now, on my computer, since I already have the F4SE installed, you'll see a small little setup. I'm going to go ahead and ignore that, okay? And I'll show you in a moment. We're going to go ahead and go to the Fallout 4 directory. Now, I will walk you through the process here. So, go to your Steam folder. Go to Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4, and you're going to basically going to grab these particular files and you're going to drag, copy, and paste them here. Replace. Don't worry about this. This is on my own system. Skip. There we go. All right. So we've gone ahead and we got rid of those. We can just go ahead and we can delete. Go back here. We can delete the file. But make sure you still have the zip file. Now you're going to go into um, Mod Organizer 2. You're going to right click on the page here. And you're going to go down to your downloads and you're going to click on the F4SE zip file and click open. Now, as you can see here, the Fallout 4 script extender. So, what we're going to do is we're going to write Fallout 4, keep the version SE. So, we'll do F4 SE 6.2. 4 scripts. That's the way you want to you want to write it. You're going to click you're going to click over here, you're going to click click on this and you're going to click set as the data. And now as you can see it looks good. You're going to go ahead and click okay. All right, you've officially installed F4SE scripts in a modernizer 2 and now the script extender works perfectly, but not yet. Now, modernizer 2 usually usually does find the script extender itself automatically. Okay, so you can just just to double check, we're gonna go up to the edit. Make sure F4SC is in the right place. As you can see, you go to the binary and you find the Fallout 4 directory. So you'll go to your desk wherever you have your Steam folder. Go to your Steam folder. Go to Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4 directory, and then look for this and click Open. Click Modify or Add, and there you have it. It, the script center should now launch the game from here. Anytime you have mods that you're launching from the, S, the F4SE, right? Uh, that, that require F4SE, you will need to launch the game through this script extender. Now, if you want, you can add uh, a couple shortcuts. So you can add it up here, or you can add it to your desktop if you want. And I'll show you real quick. Oh, look, there it is. However, it looks blank, and I want it to look like the Fallout 4 logo. I'm going to right click on here and go down to properties, click icon, we're going to go to go to browse, we're going to go to our Fallout 4 directory, So, and you're going to go, go find the Fallout 4 executable, click open, there's the icon, click OK, click apply, and then click OK again. Now anytime you launch the game for uh, F4SE, you would want, for any mod that requires F4SE, you're going to launch it from this icon here on your desktop or from your toolbar up here or just from the run button area. 
But however, we're not done yet. We want to install the MCM menu, and I will give you an idea how each one looks. So you're gonna go here, and we're gonna install it to the mod to the mo to mod organizer itself. Click here. Click download. Click proxy. And as you can see, it's downloaded into the game here. Now you can download it as you normally would. Okay. And you can choose whatever name you want as well. Click manual. I usually do manual just to make sure everything looks good. So, okay, you're going to click set directory. Everything's where you need it. Click OK. And then you're going to click on the mod to make sure it's installed properly. And there, there you have it. Now under priorities, you want to make sure that the mods are below this. So we're going to go ahead. I'll give you an idea of what I usually do. Go to filters. I go to check. This, this is all the mods that have been checked on the, on the left hand side. I have True Others installed here, but I don't think it has an MCM menu, so you don't have to worry about that. But I am going to show you what the MCM menu looks like, okay? Make sure your script extender is above the MCM menu on your under priorities. All right, now we're going to launch the game, and I'll show you what it looks like in-game. All right, everyone, so uh, welcome to the game. I just want to show you basically how the in to make sure that the script extender is installed properly. So all you do is click here called Get F4 SE Version. And there you have it. It shows you the exact version that you have for the script extender that is installed using Mod Organizer 2. And now you're going to make sure the MCM menu is incorrectly. All you do is click Exit, and you click, and you'll find it right here. And whatever mods you have installed, you will see the MCM menu is working. You can click on the MCM menu settings, and any hotkeys that you may or any other mods that rely on the MCM menu will be down here, and you can work your way through the process of organizing them and how you want to do that. Okay. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys, uh, I can show you any order, you can, uh, you know, main menu position, how you, where you want to put it, etc., etc. Skip to get back, get out. All right, everyone, that's it for our tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it gave you some uh, good knowledge on how to help get you started for Fallout 4 on Monogizer 2. Please let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you guys like my videos, please go ahead and like and share with your friends. We really need to get those if you guys like my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Once again, my name is Tony Willey. Thank you so much for the click, and I will see you next time.